Number 37, a 40 kg girl and a 8.4 kg sled are on a frictionless ice on a frozen lake, 15 meters apart but connected by a rope of negligible mass. The girl exerts a horizontal 5.2 newtons force on the rope. What are the acceleration magnitudes of the sled, the girl, and how far the girl's initial position do they meet? Okay, so we have a girl over here. And we have a sled. I got no idea how can I draw a sled. Let's suppose that there is something like this. So let's say that the girl is initially at position 0 meters. Okay, so the initial position of the girl is 0 meters. And then there is a rope connecting the girl and the sled. Okay, so that's the rope. And we know that the girl exerts a horizontal force of 5.2 newtons. So there is a force acting on the sled, which is equal, let's call it F1, which is equal to 5.2 newtons. And we want to know the accelerations and where do they meet. So if we choose that this is 0 meters, the position of the sled is of course 15 meters, right? Okay, the initial position of this lead. From Newton's third law, we know that if the girl inf inflicts a, a force of 5.2 newtons, this lead makes a force of 5.2 newtons in the girl, however, pointing in the opposite direction. Okay, so that's the information that we can get from Newton's third law. The acceleration is pretty simple. We can use Newton's second law. Let's remember that the sum of the forces is equal to mass times acceleration. For the sled, for example, for the sled, we know that F1 is equal to the mass of the sled. Let's call it ms times the acceleration of the sled. Okay, so the acceleration of the sled is equal to F1 over ms, which is equal to... 5.2 over 8.4 and this gives us let's see 0 0.62 meters per square second so this is the answer of letter one for letter b we want to know the acceleration of the girl so f2 is equal to me uh, the mass of the girl times the acceleration of the girl and in this case, we are only uh, uh, we are only calculating the magnitude of the acceleration because you you can notice that the acceler acceleration of this lead points in one direction, and the acceleration of the girl points in the opposite direction. Okay, so the acceleration of the girl is equal to F two over the mass of the girl. F2 is equal to 5.2, the mass of the girl is 40, and this gives us 0 0.13 meters per square second. Okay, so we just used Newton's third law and Newton's second law for letter A and letter B. For letter C, this is a little bit more complicated, but we have to write an equation to find the position of the girl and the position of the sled in function of time. So if we have constant acceleration, which is the case because the force is constant, there are three different equations that we can use. They are x equals to x0 plus vot plus at squared over 2. We can also use v equal to vo plus at and v squared equal to vo squared plus 2 times a delta x. But in this case, we are going to use this equation over here because we want the position in function of time. So I'm going to write this for the girl and for the sled. So let's start from the girl. So the position of the girl is equal to its initial position, which is 0, right? 0. Its initial velocity, which is 0 as well plus the acceleration, which is 0 0.13 times t squared over 2. This is for the girl. So the position of the girl is equal to 0 0.13 over 2 times t squared. The position of this lead, the initial position of this lead is 15 meters, so 15 
the initial velocity of the sled is zero and the acceleration of the sled points in the opposite direction so we are going to use the minus sign over here so 0 0.62 times t squared over 2 so our our stretch so let me write it again instead of moving forward so 15 minus 0 0.62 over 2 times t squared you can divide it if you want I'm not going to do that right now. Okay, so our strategy here is to notice that at some point, the position of the girl will be the same position as the sled. So at some point, uh, xg would be equal to xs. And using this information over here, we are going to find when that happens. So we're going to find the t, the time when that happens, and then we just replace in one of those equations t and then we find the position that's our strategy here so we are going to set that xg is equal to xs so 0 0.13 over 2 t squared is equal to 15 minus 0 0.31 t squared so i just divided by 2 and then you can isolate t squared and then you find that, let's see, how do you, you find, you find the t, so let's do the, the calculation anyway, so let's isolate it first, so let's send this to the other side, so this is 0 0.065 times t squared plus 0. 31 t squared is equal to 15 so 0 0.375 t squared is equal to 15 so t would be equal to 15 over 0 0.375 and we have to take the square root of this calculation over here so let's make this calculation so this is the square root of 15 over 0 0.375 and this gives us 6.3 seconds roughly so the girl and the sled are going to meet when the clock shows us 6.3 seconds roughly okay so we can just use this information here in this equation for example so xg would be equal to 0 0.65 times that is another zero over here right 0 0.065 times 6.3 squared so this gives us let's see this is equal 0 0.065 times 6.3 times 6.3 and this gives us roughly 2.6 meters oh this is roughly 2.6 meters and that's the answer of letter c